Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here and today I'm going to be doing a fall haul. It's kind of like a pre-fall haul because a lot of these pieces aren't super like, they are fall appropriate, but they're not really like cold weather fall appropriate. But this is just gonna be a compilation of stuff I've been purchasing probably over the past month and a half to two months. My hair's a little bit crazy today. I just got it cut and I'm not sure if it got cut too short or something, but it's like curly, which I actually do like the curly look, but I feel like it's not styled the way I typically like it to be styled. I don't wanna take up much of your time, but this is gonna be a try on haul, of course. Everything that's in this video, I'm gonna make sure to link below. And there are a lot of pieces in here that are a bit more on the higher price point. So I'm going to also make sure to link very similar items for you guys underneath like $100, just so that in case you do like the style um, or you would like a piece very similar to it, you have the option to just check those out as well. This is from the Couples. It's from the Sunset Collection. So in case you are curious, um, I'll try to link a very similar shirt because I don't think this one's in stock anymore. So let's just jump in with H&M. First thing that I got at H&M was actually this morning. Me and my roommate went there to actually return those pieces that I had in my boyfriend video that you guys literally blew up. It's insane, but it's so funny. Uh, I exchanged it and I got the shirt because I actually really, really liked this top. It, it says, no guilt, all pleasure, and it's purple and it has the red writing on it. I love this font right now, like kind of this funky font. I didn't actually realize it had a backside to it when I purchased it, but the backside says, no guilt, all pleasure. Makes really no difference at all. And I kind of feel like this reminds me a lot of like a Vought Mott tee. Also from H&M, I have two pieces from their brand new studio collection, which I will make sure to link the pieces below for you guys because this just got released the other day. This is the first piece. This is a bomber jacket. It's black and then it has these really nice um, knitted panels in the front here and the back actually says Mountain Noir on it, which is kind of different. I, when I first got the jacket, I didn't realize that it had a back on it. This kind of like Nordic knitting is very fall winter appropriate, but I always kind of find it a little bit tacky for some reason and kind of cliche, but I actually love it in this jacket. I think it's like an edgy way to implement like a fall or winter touch to an outfit. Plus I just love how they mix the brown and the black, but a nice little element to that jacket is there's actually a matching pair of brown pants in that same exact brown color. And I don't have any pants in this color, so I absolutely absolutely love these and I've been wearing these so, so much. The back just has little fold over flat pockets and the front actually has this belt detail, which I absolutely love because you just belt it here and it kind of adds like that long belt trend I always talk about on my channel. The bottom has a really nice cuff tan. Let's move into Zara. I have a pair of pants I got at Zara. This was the last pair that they had, but I know that they're doing a ton of plaid pants this season. This is what they look like. They're kind of just a black and white plaid and I love them. I do want to get them actually tailored because they're super long. Typically Zara pants fit me like great, but these for some reason are like very, very long. I think that they're very cool, adds a little bit of texture, and it's kind of like a focal piece on your pants. So you can just pair this with an easy shirt and you have a unique outfit. Two more pieces from Zara that I picked up the same time as those pants. First is just this t-shirt here. It's like a knit gray shirt, but what drew me to it was, first of all, the high neckline. I really, really like this neckline on me. I think it's kind of flattering. It has these seams, these style lines going down the front that are just knitted in details. And I had a shirt very similar to this I got at the thrift store a long, long, long time ago, probably three or four years ago, and I have no idea where it went. So I decided to just replace it because I tend to wear that shirt a lot. And sort of a similar vibe with the whole uh, high neckline. This one's not as high, but it's another knit shirt. I love knit tees for some reason. I feel like they lay in a, a lot nicer than just like those jersey t-shirts. This one's cool because it's black, but it has this rivet detail down the side, which I thought was just a nice accent to like your basic black t-shirt because I have a lot of basic black tees, but this one in particular, I thought was nice because it had that riveted detail. I have two pairs of pants that I purchased from Sense. And if you guys don't know, Sense is one of my favorite websites ever. I love them. It is a designer shopping website, um, but I find that their styling, their photographs, and just the pieces that they have in stock on their site are super amazing. And I honestly go on their site just for styling inspo and just like design inspo in general. I really, really love it. First pair is a pair of purple pants that I'm fucking obsessed with. These are from Palm Angels. And the reason I got these, I was eyeing them for a long time, but they were quite pricey. But I was on the Sense website and they had them and they only had one left in my size. It's just a purple track pant. It has the white and black seam down the side of it. It has a style uh, seam in the front of it, which is like one of my favorite pant details right now. And then a zipper here. So it's just like a typical track pant, but a bit more elevated, I feel. And I also got this pair of pants, which is from the brand um, Kazuyaki Kamai or I think it's attention. I'm not 100% sure. I wear pants like this so much that I decided that I wanted to invest in a pair that would 
really look nice. I love just like black trousers. I wear them all the time and I know it's gonna be very blown out on the screen, but these are like a black pair of trousers, very, very wide and kind of like flowy on the top with again, that belt detail and the leg is super wide as well and it kind of tapers down. They're just a wide leg cropped trouser with pleats at the top. It's all my favorite things in one pants. A quick little top man purchase was this white hoodie that I managed to get quite dirty on the front already. I don't have any white hoodies, first of all, but the thing that I really loved about it was the extended sleeve. The sleeve is literally so long on this and it doesn't cuff at all, which I like because it kind of hangs over your hand. So again, that Vatman oversized street vibe. Um, and I got this on sale for only $20. So I'll try to find a similar one or this exact one on their website in case it's still there. PacSun sent over a little package and inside of it was this Kappa jacket. It, which I've been wearing a lot. Here in LA it doesn't get cold um, during the day, but sometimes it does get a little bit chilly or a little bit windy. So this is a nice jacket because it's super lightweight just to throw on. This for some reason reminds me of these Angel Devil things my dad used to wear all the time, like that brand Angel Devil. And this just reminds me so much of it. And again, managed to get it dirty right here. I want it as an instant sporty vibe to any look as well, which I like. And the back is just solid black. So it's very easy and effortless. Now guys, this was my New York Fashion Week purchase and it was so expensive, but you can't hate me because I've been wanting this jacket for so long and I just decided I was gonna break my bank, <laughs> I guess, and purchase it. So it's this jacket, it is literally stunningly amazing. It is by Saint Laurent and it is the blue corduroy teddy jacket. And I hate how much the lighting is changing on here, but I hope you can see it. It says je t'aime on the side, which essentially means I love you. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I know what it means and I know I've heard people pronounce it, but I don't think I'm, I'm probably butchering it. It has yellow and blue, which is a favorite combo of mine right now. I just love primaries together. Teddy jacket from Saint Laurent is a jacket that I've always wanted, but I didn't want the one that everyone has, that traditional one. And I loved how they sort of redid it in sort of this vintage collegial aesthetic, which I really liked. So that's why I picked it up. Another sort of varsity-esque collegial bomber jacket is from Express. And you guys look at this suede. It is literally, Stunning. It has dark gray and light gray cuffing and then around the neckline as well. And then it's just this very stunning suede all the way down uh, the whole body of it. And I think it's extremely nice quality. I got a size medium and I can't wait to wear this more during the fall and winter time because I think it's going to be a very appropriate jacket for that season. Okay, we're reaching the end of this haul. Um, two items really quickly that are very simple. This is a helmet laying t-shirt and I got this at the outlet. It's just a nice soft weight jersey fabric. I liked it because it had this little helmet laying accent on the bottom and it was only $20. So I don't know. I didn't just, I didn't want to pass it up. And it's just basic black tee, but it has that helmet laying detail, which helmet laying is an amazing brand. And I really love the um, pieces that they create, but they are quite expensive. So I thought I can have one piece from them. And then I walked into Costa the other day and just picked up this shirt because I really loved the cut on it. It's like a long sleeve, a little bit oversized shirt. And it looks like this. It has a pocket on it and the sleeves just go down. And it's not uh, quite like a t-shirt material, but it's not a sweatshirt material. It's sort of like an in-between between, a bit thicker than a t-shirt material. So those were all of my clothing pieces, but I do have just three accessories to share with you. The first is a new pair of sunglasses that I got, and I don't know if I've shared these anywhere on my channel, but I've been wearing them so much, and I get the most questions on Instagram about these ever, and this is what they look like. These are from Off-White and Warby Parker. I love them. These were actually very exclusive to Warby Parker and I got the notification that they came out, went on their site, wasn't able to get them. Everything was sold out. And then I got a notification the next morning that said that they restocked some of the small sunglasses, which are the exact ones I wanted. And I was able to purchase them, which was amazing. That's the first time I've ever sort of got something on a launch, which was great. Um, and I absolutely love these. I wear them almost every single day. I love the small sunglass trend right now. And I feel like this is a very masculine version of that small sunglass trend, if that makes sense. When I bought the Saint Laurent jacket that I showed you guys, I also bought this little clip, which was not too expensive. Um, I know it's literally just a clip you can get at the hardware store, but I have the wallet that goes with this clip and I wanted to add this as an additional component and it was added onto my wallet chain and it sort of adds an extension to it, but it doesn't make it look like everyone else's wallet chain. And last but not least, in that Paxson package with the Kappa jacket, they also sent these insane Adidas shoes that I've been loving. 
I personally do not like high tops at all, but these I've been wearing so much for some reason. I still don't like high tops, but I will wear these. Like I don't even, this is a high top, but I feel like it's kind of not at the same time. It's not too high and it's kind of tight to your foot, which I like. I feel like a lot of high tops sort of flare out. This is called the Match Court from Adidas. I've got a lot of questions on these shoes. Um, I think they might only be exclusive to PacSun or something because I haven't been able to find them on other websites. So guys, that was my pre-fall fall haul. Hope you did enjoy and I hope I gave you some inspiration when you're out shopping. Don't forget to check the description box below for all the links for these items and then also similar pieces in case they are sold out or they are a bit more on the pricier side. Don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and let me know what other videos you guys would like to see for the fall season because I'm super excited to start creating some autumn slash fall content. Do you want a lookbook, a styling video, um, I don't know, DIY? Whatever you want, let me know in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.